peoples. So don't let them be on your free land. They are the beasts of the 21st century. So please do this act. You demonstrate, we know now, in every country there are very big demonstrations and still the killing is going on in Gaza. The demonstrations need also another action. Boycott them all. Those who did not support our struggle, our right to be on our land, boycott them all. First Israel, boycott, divest and sanctions on Israel. This is an action that help our struggle. This is an action that you defend us and be with us all the time. I hope this conference have given us the time to address you. We heard all the uh, uh, words that we will take it with us to tell our people in Gaza. Every morning I call Gaza by telephone. Today they did not call. They did not answer. Because yesterday the comrades told me what they are doing there. And then they said, now we are calling you. I said, every morning we say good morning to each other. But they told me, maybe tomorrow will be late because we will be martyrs. This message, I transfer it to you. Imagine if anyone wants to say good morning for their children. Our children cannot answer. Our children, one of them was wounded. This is a video. His father is wounded, but the whole family died. The child was telling his father, we call, when we call dad in Arabic, Yaba. Yaba, don't be afraid. Yaba, don't be afraid. And then he died. Imagine this, how it is uh, painful to us. We don't have the time to mourn because the Israelis are not giving us time to mourn. Our children, our women, who wait for their children. Some of the women said, please God, take me to my children. They are in heaven. These pains and sufferings are repeated every now and then on our land in Palestine, in Lebanon, in Syria. The Palestinians are, are all over the world in their camps. Our camps were targeted. The Israelis and their allies don't want the witness. Those in the camps represent the witness of the catastrophe, of the Nakba. I'm from the generation of Nakba, this uh, catastrophe in English. So this Nakba is repeated again. Now they want to transfer us from our land. They are calling for the Palestinians in Gaza to live or die. They don't know the people in Gaza. What they have always in mind. We stay on our land until death or freedom. This is the, the motto of the uh, Gaza people. This is the culture of the Palestinians. We learned from our experience and from other experience. In Gaza, they celebrate the dates of victory. In Vietnam, in South Africa, 
in Latin America. They celebrate Cuba, Venezuela, they celebrate also the names Che Guevara. Many women are named after Che Guevara. They are, one of them is uh, 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 Givara Buderi is the name of Shirin Saakli who was killed by the Israelis. And this means that our people are educated, that they are a part of the international liberation movement. They know it and they are educated in schools and outside schools. Can you imagine the Gazan children when Fukushima in, in Japan was, uh, there was tsunami and explosions of the nuclear uh, uh, they went to the sea, they wrote on their balloons, and they sent a message to Fukushima. I was in Japan afterwards. The government, represented by the police, they came to me when I was going out. They say, thank you, because you visited Fukushima. But we will never forget that the children of Gaza expressed their solidarity in their innocent way to send us balloons, and we received. Uh, I told them, look, Japanese fighters, they went to Tel Aviv in the 30th of May, and they opened fire in the one of them was, and they all died. I think that some of you, or all of you, heard of Shigenobi, the woman who was arrested in Japan to uh, help, because she helped the Palestinians in the media, and the others died. I remind you, also of Rachel Curry from the United States, that young woman who was killed by the Israelis by a bulldozer. This woman is a hero for us. We never forget those who came to Palestine and they did a lot of things for our people. After every war, Gaza received thousands of delegations coming to Palestine to help. And still they remember their names, and still they are eager to meet them again. Now, if you go to Palestine, you will see that the two million became one million. Not because of immigration, but because of the Holocaust the Israeli Holocaust, the Zionist Holocaust that happened these days in Gaza.